smart bidding. See, a lot of people still struggling with smart bidding. And by that, I mean max conversions, TCPA or ROAS. So what do we do? How do we get it to work for us? Firstly, do not treat smart bidding as a, a fixer of all. If your account structure is wrong, poor keyword selection, poor ad copy, not doing your negatives, all the other 50, 100 things you could be doing, don't try and fix it with smart bidding. If you want to diagnose that stuff and get more help beyond smart bidding, then check the description for a, a extended free training from me with a, a flow chart and information on how to diagnose these things. Like I say, it's free. All I need from you is your email address so I can spam you, so I can, sorry, update you. So how do we manage our smart bidding so it makes sense? I haven't, uh, I've just jumped into an account, but this one isn't budget limited. So let's talk about budget limited really quickly. So there's two scenarios of budget limited. By that, I mean, you've set a budget, you're spending it, and Google's telling you you can spend more. The first scenario is the easy one, where let's say you've got a budget of $50 a day, uh, you're spending it, sometimes nibbling over it. You've set a target conversion of, I don't know, 10. So you're getting five conversions a day and you're happy with that. What you can do, and the simplest thing to do, is lower your target CPA. You might drop it down to eight and see if you can get an extra conversion and still spend the budget. And there's two outcomes there. You spend the budget and you get an extra conversion. Great. Or you don't quite spend the budget, but you still get the same volume of conversions. So you save money. The exact same thing for target ROAS. You lift the target ROAS limit, maybe 10, 20%, and see if it still spends the budget. How frequently should you do this? Again, it depends on how many conversions you go, uh, you have going through your account. But realistically, once a week, so pick a day, Monday. So you review the last seven days, tweak your bidding. So don't overcomplicate it. You don't need to be changing bids every single day unless you've got a very fast, high spend account. And even then, yeah. the opposite of that is you've got a budget, you're spending it, and you're still budget limited, but you're not hitting your desired cost conversion. So you're over your cost conversion or your ROAS is below where you are. This goes back to the freebie full training thing uh, that I put together. That's not a bidding issue, probably. That's an issue outside of the bidding and you're trying to fix it with the bidding saying well I'm giving you this money I want this target CPA why are you not hitting it well you need to look at your keyword selection campaign structure ad group structure ad copy competitors extensions you name it we can't fix that here today that takes a bit more effort so go and grab the freebie so let's have a look at this account let's look at the situation we've got so we want to go last 14 days and this is so we can segment the data uh, by day so drop into segment, time, day. Okay, and we've got this high spend, highest spend uh, campaign at the top. So this is a test performance max campaign. I can tell that because someone's named this very well. Targeting the UK uh, with ROAS. 200 pound budget. And let's have a look. So we look for our daily spend. And as you can see, we are barely hitting half that spend. So that tells me two things. It tells me that either the bidding's restricting this or the market is restricting this. It's as simple as that. If there's not enough people looking for the thing you're selling or uh, pushing, then you can't magic impressions out of the sky. But of course, this is on target ROAS and it's the same for CPA, just inverse, that you are essentially throttling the spend by setting a target. So this is currently doing, let's have a look, around around six, as low as three, four times row hours, up to 12 times row hours. And on the days where it was actually spending over 100, the row hours dropped to four, four and a half. And what you're essentially looking for here, or with an exception of that Friday, uh, the spend was not even 60. So Essentially, what you're looking for here is, what's your priority? Is it to lower the cost conversion? Is it to increase ROAS? Or is it for spend? So is it for volume? You're trying to get more conversion through the account. So to get more uh, conversion through this account, purely through bidding, and remember, we're talking about uh, smart bidding here. 
and not by tweaking, optimizing around the bidding. That's a separate routine entirely. Then your options are very simple. Uh, for this one, you would lower the target ROAS. In fact, let's have a look at what the ROAS is set at. Isn't Google Ads really quick to load these days? Okay, now. So we have a max conversion with a target row set. So we have a T row as 550. And we are achieving 6.4. Okay, so Google's actually slightly overperforming our uh, target here, which is good. So what I would probably do, looking at more recent dates, uh, 6.4, uh, 4, hitting the target, so it looks like every other day we are hitting target ROAS, which is averaging out about where we want it to be. So a simple, simple test here would be to drop your target ROAS, for example, 10%. Give it a week. Does the budget spend more than 10%? Does it spend all of its budget? So do we go from 70 to 100 pounds a day to 200 pounds, which is the daily budget? And that's the thing. The auction isn't as simple as an increment. So if you up your bid 10%, you might be able to spend 20% more. You might be able to spend double more. It depends where you are in that auction flux. You might just be outside of the, uh, what I'd call the mid-high auction area. So where a lot of competition is, and it's pushing you down because of your ROAS or your target CPA. We can see that the search impression share is actually only 25% for this campaign. That says the upside is quite large, 70 odd percent to the upside. And that would mean that we could, in theory, get another million impressions in two weeks, if not more. So there is a big upside there. So really simple, segment by day, are you hitting the spend? If not, do you want the volume? Nibble down your ROAS. Do you want the volume? Nibble down your CPA if you're running CPA. Very straightforward. How do you fix things if you can't even spend the money or you're spending the money and you can't even get close to your target or ROAS or CPA? Well, as I said at the start of the video, get the extended free training where I give you a free download, a flow chart to help you work through things and explain things in more detail. And that's about it. So what I've just covered will help you with your bidding. Outside of that, you need to diagnose things, improve things, and stop trying to use bidding to fix an issue that isn't a bidding issue. Hope that made sense. Thanks for watching.